Hello, this is Black Panther Boxing. This will be my pre-fight prediction on Keith Furman versus Danny Garcia. Um, I rate both these guys. I, I really like Danny Garcia, I really like Keith Furman. I think that if Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao does or doesn't happen, this is the next big fight at welterweight. This is the number two fighter at welterweight. I know Kelbrook L. Spence is happening. But I think that's the number three fighter. I think this one's number two. And then whoever wins out of the Manny Pacquiao fight is number one. Um, it, you know, both guys have fought at top level. Both guys, uh, this is the defining fight ready for both of them. Keith Furman coming off a great fight, great win against Sean Porter. Uh, closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought Keith Furman would be a bit more dominant. But he wasn't as such. But it was a really good fight. Uh, exciting to watch and Keith Furman did what he needed to do uh, you know there's a lot of talk about rematches after that but I think that you know Danny Garcia move was a lot better move for him a step up um, and if he wins this Keith Furman he goes on to be one of the best guys in the division um, whereas Danny Garcia um, I mean he early on in his career uh, Three, four years ago when he was fighting Matisse, Zab Judah, Amir Khan, you know, guys like that. He was building up a brilliant record and then he went a bit a bit off fighting a few lower level guys. And then the Peterson fight, I thought Garcia would dominate. And personally, on my scorecard, I had Peterson winning by two, three rounds. Um, I thought Peterson was defended brilliantly in the first one, six rounds. Um quite effective defensively although he was getting beaten on a few, a few of those rounds he was comfortable the whole fight and then unleashed a lot of punches on Danny Garcia later on in the fight and I felt like Peterson won that but it moves on and he fought Malinaji he says step down and Robert Guerrero and Samuel Vargas and it's not no other, no one of any sort of name especially at welterweight since he's moved up to welterweight nobody um, which is a shame because Danny Garcia was an exciting, very exciting fighter. Um, but this is it. This is, you know, hats off to him to, for taking this. Uh, it's going to be a great fight. I'm looking forward to it. Danny Garcia, you know, still only 28 years old. He's um, still got many years left as a pro. You know, even if he wins this, he can go on after, you know, or if he loses, he can go on after, sorry. Um, and same with Keith Furman, 28 years old. You know, the loser doesn't have a lot to lose, but the winner has a lot to gain in this fight. You know, the loser can rebuild and come back, and, you know, there's plenty of guys at well weight. Um, but the winner goes on to be the next big thing in America. You know, the winner of Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan, the winner of Kelbro, Carol Spence. You know, these fights are offered to the winner. You know, they're going to be huge, huge unification fights. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, held, held in New York. Uh, New York, the um, scoring in New York is normally pretty spot on. So ho hopefully there won't be any worries with the scoring. You know, over in America, some, you know, the Wilder fight last week, for instance, Wilder winning on the scorecards after not really doing anything in that fight. You know, hopefully that should be a good scorecards from the um, from the officials. You know, it's a shame when we get the bad scorecards and, you know, that's what we're talking about after the fight. But Keith Furman, Danny Garcia, I, I'm sitting on the fence for this one. I, I really, really am struggling to call it. Um, for a long time, I fought Keith Furman, but now it's coming to fight, fight week. And, you know, looking into it, I think Danny Garcia might have the better of him. He is a very, very classy boxer um, with some great hooks. Uh, I think it's just going to be a big... Big slugfest, you know, they're going to be landing big shots. I don't think boxing skill have too much to do with it, especially watching Keith Furman's last fight. Uh, I think they're both going to be trying to land big shots, you know, big hooks. They're both, you know, great punchers, um, strong punchers. And it'll be great to see um, where they go from now. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm very excited for this fight. Uh, it's just a brilliant, brilliant matchup. You know, hats off to the promoters and the managers that made it. You know they, you know, 28 years old, taking, taking on another person, another fighter of their caliber. You know, brilliant WBA, WBC up for grabs. 
um, it's just going to be a brilliant fight. I'm really looking forward to it. And it'll be interesting to see where the loser and the winner goes from this. Uh, if Danny Garcia wins, will he continue into strength to strength with the tough opponents, or will he do what he done after a uh, tough fight against Peterson? Or you know, tough fights. You know, it's, it's nice to see the opponents at a high level, and we'll have to wait and see after the fight what, what whoever does that. Um, Keith Furman for a little while I was um, sceptical, you know, I heard about him a long time ago uh, and ever since I heard about him he then took on opponents that were average and then average and then average and won the WBA and, you know, wasn't fighting any top guys and he talks a lot but when he took the Sean Porter fight I thought that's great step up great fight to take and when he um when he won that you know he opened a lot of doors for himself and now Danny Garcia he's been around a lot longer he's been champion a lot longer um his chance to cement his name on the top of the welterweights uh, be a great fight to see and I'm really really looking forward to it